Hello, this is Jordan, and in this video, I am going to show you how to install plugins in Discourse. Um, and this is going to be kind of raw, but I personally learn really well when I can see somebody else do something. And I've looked through the forums, the Discourse community, the Meta community, and I found answers to my questions. But it's been in a, kind of a roundabout way and a little bit of a journey for me. So hopefully, I can save someone a little bit of time by this video in uh, tutorial here. So um, again, I'm using the Discourse community forums. So um, there specifically a plugin that I want to install into my instance is um, this formatting toolbar. Now you will need to have admin access or root access, the ability to log into your web server and do some backend editing for your Discourse instance. So if you've set up Discourse on your own, then you, you should probably have that access that you need. So this particular plugin that I'm going to install today is the formatting toolbar. And um, Steven here gives, and this is a great plugin, by the way. If you're not familiar with what this does, this is a great thread to look through. Uh, highly recommend it. But um, he gives a link here to how to install a plugin, which... This is a great thread that teaches you how to install plugins in Discourse. But for me, this, this instruction right here wasn't quite enough for me. Uh, and so I looked down here and this was a little bit more helpful, this, this post right here. And then I kept scrolling down and this one from Molly was just really, really helpful. And it looks like it was helpful to a lot of other people as well. So um, I'm just going to do a video that shows you how to implement what Molly's talking about there. And we are going to get this uh, tool, this formatting toolbar installed on my instance of Discourse. So you'll just need to log into Terminal, or if you're using Windows, you can use Putty. I just use Terminal to log into my instance since I'm on a Mac. I've already logged into my server via SSH, and so now I need to log in as a root user. So to do that, I need to sudo in and sudo dash s, enter my password. And now you can see that I'm logged in as root at community. So you'll need that root access or administrative access in order to modify the file that we're about to get to. So now you'll want to go to cd space slash var slash discourse. Now that we're in there, we will look for, or we're going to enter into the nano editor, nano containers slash app.yml okay and I'm just gonna page down here until I get to this area where I see hooks okay uh, the next thing we'll do is come down here and we want to come in exactly to where beneath that git clone uh, docker manager and we are going to enter a dash and the same thing git clone and we are going to paste that URL for the Git repository that we just copied from GitHub. So we just paste that in there. The next thing that we'll do is save the file, which we can press Control O to save it. And it says file name to write container slash app.yml. And we are going to just press Enter to say yes. And then the next thing we'll do is press Control X to exit. So that's it. And if we want to double check and make sure that um, that that file saved, we can go back and again, page down and look, and it looks like everything's good there. Now, I don't know if there still needs to be a space. Uh, one, of the, one of the notes up here at the top is be very careful. These files are super sensitive to make mistakes in white space or alignment. So there's a chance that we might still need a, a space because there was a space between that. I'm is kind of beyond my realm of understanding but um, anyway if we wanted to add that space back again we press Control o to save it press enter and then we press Control x to leave all right so that file is saved uh, the next step will be to do a git pull so we would say git and then pull so I don't really know how this stuff works but I'm guessing this goes in um, and looks at that YML file and, and sees the, the new item that we just added there. 
And if anyone else has more clarification on how this works or why this works, please just post it in the comments for the benefit of anyone watching this video. The last step is to rebuild our instance. So rebuild the app. And the way that we do that is we're still in the um, var slash discourse folder and we simply um, enter dot slash launcher rebuild space app just like that and then press enter and what this will do is restart discourse and it will include the plugin in this new rebuild so this takes quite a bit of time um, I'll cut the video and let you see what it looks like once we have the plugin installed but that should be it for you hopefully this is helpful for others to add plugins into discourse I know this little exercise was helpful for me and I might refer back to this video if I need additional help in the future. Okay, well fortunately you didn't have to sit through that whole process. Um, it took about five minutes or so for, for uh, this to rebuild my discourse, but let's go and take a look now and see how it looks. All right. So I am going to come in here and just reply to one of these posts and see what it looks like. And there is my new toolbar. Look at that fanciness. Now I can align things left and right and do all sort of color my text, do all sorts of fun stuff. So many thanks to, uh, to Steven for this great plugin. Uh, again, read through this this forum post to learn more about it and then if you prefer not watching a video then you can skip everything I've said and uh, just come over to uh, this link that Steven gives here how to install a plugin which is right here um, and then if this is good enough for you you can just follow this process up here it's actually really good now that I understand how to do it this is great documentation but because all of this was a little unfamiliar to me um, what Molly posted here as one of the first posts is really helpful, the 10 steps that you need to install a new plugin. So again, hopefully this was helpful and best of luck as you install plugins in your Discourse instance.